Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So California resident Edward Bedalian was convicted of crimes he committed at the Capitol on January 6th. Bedalian was facing really serious charges, including conspiracy. For some reason, he refused a plea deal. He opted instead for a bench trial with U.S. District Judge Amy Berman Jackson. Not a smart move. Um, On Tuesday of this week, Judge Berman Jackson found Bedalian guilty on all but one count. The count that he was acquitted on was tampering with documents. So Bedalian was convicted on charges of conspiracy against the United States, obstructing an official proceeding, and entering restricted grounds. The conspiracy conviction carries a maximum penalty of up to five years in prison. Obstructing an official proceeding, as I've mentioned before, comes with a 20-year maximum. And then entering restricted grounds will get you up to one year in prison. Bedalian, by the way, is a co-defendant in the case of Daniel Rodriguez. You guys will probably remember him. He goes by Danny Rodriguez. He's also from California. He's the guy who tasered Officer Michael Fanone in the neck numerous times and caused him to suffer a heart attack. So that's who Bedalian was conspiring with. That's why this case is so serious. And with Bedalian, my guess is based on the convictions, based on who the judge is, I think he's going to receive one of the longest sentences we've seen so far. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. We'll see. Um, He's scheduled to be sentenced on July 21st, so I will absolutely let you guys know what happens. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it with others, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Truly helps with the Google gods. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Helps to get more advertisers for the show so you guys don't have to pitch in. Um, If you can become a financial supporter of the show, that also is a huge help, hugely appreciated. Love you all. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.